Thank you for joining me for this oil painting time lapse. The process of this painting has obliterated many of my brain cells and I'm using whatever is left to edit this video, so I hope you enjoy. I'm starting with a burnt sienna underpainting, which is sort of like the skeleton of the painting, which I use for sketching out the composition, and after it dries, I mix my colors and then begin on the first color layer. Because the canvas is toned, I can start painting with a really light color and it actually shows up on the painting. About six years ago, I stopped painting on white backgrounds and started toning my canvases, but it's really all about personal preference and what works best for you. This is just how I prefer to do it. The first layer is a bit of a mess and it does get better over time, but I actually abandoned it for like 10 months and it just sat like this in my studio until I came back to it in the summer of 2020. When I abandon a painting, I'm actually still painting a lot. I just work on other pieces that I'm either way more excited about or they take priority because of a deadline. So I'm still painting in that time frame. It's just other pieces. I actually had to take another break from this painting again because I moved across the country from Florida to Washington State. I spent a lot of time layering and making adjustments to build on the details, correct any mistakes, and also create the illusion of condensation on glass, which was a challenge because I'm painting the face and the condensation at the same time. And I wanted to get this done first before I did any of the water droplets, which is gonna come last. This painting was inspired by the works of Alyssa Monks. She's an amazing painter and one of my favorite artists who has a mind-blowing series of shower portraits, but I don't ever want to make a plagiarized copy of another artist's painting, so I always take my own reference photos, and that's what I did here. I'm using my own photography as a reference for this composition. And now finally my favorite part, the water droplets. I'm also very sorry for the weird flashy waves in this footage. I totally forgot to lower my shutter speed while filming. It does go away after I realized what I did. For the droplets, I'm using the reference photo very loosely because most of them were out of focus in the photo, so I kind of just improvised and made most of them up, which is also much faster than trying to copy them one by one. I don't think I would have ever finished this painting if I did that. <sighs> I can't believe that I'm almost done. I really can't believe it. It's a crazy feeling. Today might actually be the day I finish this painting. And it was the day I finished the painting. I spent all day painting the last of the water droplets. My bottom eyelid started spazzing at one point, but I got it done.
that's the painting when I finally decided to let go. I shared some of the process in real time on my Patreon page back when I first started it, and I also have beginner-friendly tutorials all in real time, no time lapse. So if you'd like to learn how to oil paint, those are available there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the process of this painting. I'm wishing you a beautiful day, and I hope you'll stick around so that I could see you in my next video. Bye everyone.